Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show, and we are back on our quest to try all the ice cream world has to offer. Happy uh, holiday, everybody. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Today, we're going to jump into it. I'm sitting in my room talking to myself at the cool kids' table, because that's what I tell myself when I'm sitting in my room talking to myself. <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to be doing Van Leeuwen, a.k.a. Von Leeuwen, because I know some of you have issues with the way I pronounce things. Don't change the leche. Don't change the leche. Anyway, moving forward, we're going to be doing the Earl Grey tea. Look, I, I can't promise you that this is going to be a... Uh, longer episode i know some of you are crushed uh <laughs> but um i don't even know how i'm gonna like this or not tea is a big thing down south in particular but i i guess i've had earl grey tea but realistically speaking i don't know how i'm gonna feel about it in ice cream form and it's nice and creamy like i like it melty uh however we're gonna try it uh for the keller crunches crowd this is 2.5 servings at 310 per serving, 310 calories, 310. I'm not sure what that is. Put the math down below for those who would like to know because I'm not good at the math. That's why I'm doing ice cream. But we're moving forward. As you can see, it's nice and creamy. I realized some of the episodes recently that I haven't been allowing it to be as creamy as I would like. But anywho, let's go ahead and jump into it. Well, Okay. Well, first things first. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, but it's definitely a little different. So it's uh, with Van Leeuwen in general, they're, they're, uh, they actually make frozen custard, fr a.k.a. French ice cream. It's a little bit different than American standard ice cream. It typically has more egg in it, denser, and more fat. Um, I would say, honestly, this has kind of a... Nice, creamy, soft texture to it. Van Leeuwen is a quality ice cream. And that's why I'm wearing this. Because I just got a stain on me. I got a stain protector now. Thanks, Mom. No, but seriously, appreciate it. Um, but I don't really know how to describe this taste in a tea form. Um, if I'm being honest with you, it has a, like... Fruit Loops, if that make I know that sounds crazy, but it has kind of a Fruit Loops, um, it has kind of a Fruit Loops aftertaste. If, I know that sounds a little weird, but it's almost like at the bottom of a Fruit Loop bowl, we've just got a little Fruit Loops left. Shout out to Cereal File, and um, you've got the milk there. And you're drinking out of the bowl. It has kind of that taste to it. As far as like the fat content. Any kind of frozen custard French ice cream is typically going to have a great fat content. Uh, fat content. Uh, or, um, this particular brand, Van Leeuwen, uh, is a higher quality brand. You're definitely going to pay some good money for it. Uh, however, in my opinion, it's a quality ice cream. And depending on what you pay for it, it's definitely worth it. Some of the prices in New York City are friggin' outrageous for any ice cream. So, uh, I don't know if any ice cream is worth that much. However, this is definitely a good brand, but it is a little bit more expensive. has a nice sweetness to it has a great fat content great creamy texture um but to be honest kind of has like a a fruit loops type taste that, that, that's the best way i could describe it if, and that seems so weird for earl grey too who's ever had earl grey tea anybody am i the only one who doesn't know if they have or they haven't, put it down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Also, while you're there, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and press that notification button so you can get our stuff as soon as it comes out. Who was able to stick with their New Year's resolution so far? I know it's only like roughly three weeks into the year, but I'm sure some of you quit. Put it down in the comments below. Let me know about your New Year's resolutions and if you were able to keep up with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a score, guys, because I'm not gonna lie, this is I'm not a huge fan of this, and. I'm just thrown off by how something called tea can kind of taste like Fruit Loops. And Van Leeuwen or Van Leeuwen, I'm not trying to disrespect your brand at all. It's just a, a kind of a weird flavor. I don't really know how to describe it that well. But honestly, I, 
the best way to describe it would like I said be Fruit Loops. So I'm gonna shut up about Fruit Loops. <laughs> so it's just not I'm I'm not a huge fan of the overall flavor, if I'm being quite honest. But it's a high, high, high quality brand. So this says, uh, let me read this real quick. For this flavor, we use organic rishi tea. Rishi tea, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Hand harvested in the centuries old tea tree forest of the Union, Yunnan, I'm, again, sorry if I'm pro pronouncing that wrong, province of China. The tea is cured and then infused with oil and bergamot citrus. I don't know what that is. Maybe some of you know what it is. Put it in the comments if you know. Uh, we steep the tea in the perfect point in fresh whole milk before adding cream, eggs, and sugar. They got it from the Fruit Loops Forest. Scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, scale of 1 to 100. 10 point grading scale. Look, actual quality of the ice cream, as far as texture, creaminess, ingredients, etc. Fantastic. Flavor, not really my cup of tea. <laughs> Earl Grey tea, you get it? Okay, moving forward. Uh, not really my cup of tea, per se, or cup of ice cream. I'm going to have to give it... Honestly... I'm going to give it like a 75. I'm going to give it like a, C, a solid C. It's definitely not a D. It's definitely not an F. Uh, but it's also definitely not something I would go out of my way to get. And it is definitely not... Um, something I'm a huge fan of and honestly even if you had it at your house I don't know that I would eat it but it's not the worst thing I've ever had so I'm going to give it like a C a solid 75 um, like I said put in the comments below let me know if you've had this it, this is definitely a New York brand New York State brand I believe they have it on Gold Belly and other places just you can order it nationwide however you can find it in the Northeast relatively easily uh, like I said Van Leeuwen Earl Grey tea. If you've had it, put it in the comments below. Also, while you're there, what do you think about last ice cream? I thought it was pretty good. Make sure to go check out the last ice cream. Um, try it. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments of that video. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. 75 for the Van Leeuwen uh, Earl Grey tea. I appreciate you. We're going to do big things this year. I'm actually writing a schedule out now. I'm going to try to travel more. I'm going to try to do more interviews and more collaborations in person uh, i have a car now so that helps out a lot i'm also gonna move from new york city in the next probably year and a half two years we'll see how that goes but either way we're gonna expand the show thank you so much for tuning in if you're on youtube check us out on instagram if you're on instagram check us out on youtube thank you so much for eating ice cream with me every week it means more than me than i can articulate tell your friends tell your family come eat ice cream with us every week go out try this brand Try this flavor. Let me know what you think. It is definitely a unique flavor and brand without question. Again, thank you so much. I appreciate all your time. I appreciate all your support. I really can't thank you enough to my Patreon supporters, to my PayPal supporters, to any other supporters financially and in general. Seriously, this show means a lot to me and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm going to quit rambling. I appreciate you guys and I will. See you next time.